Hi, my name is Markus from crosstech.de and today I'd like to introduce you Content Builder, our content construction extension for Joomla. And Content Builder helps you to collect data from your website and from your website users and actually um, helps you to create something useful with that data. Um, you usually um, would like to have things on your website um, like catalogs or uh, uh, article submissions or image galleries or uh, file downloads or paid memberships or paid downloads and such and um, usually what you're doing is you're going to Joomla extensions directory and you're trying to find an extension that um, does what you want to do but then in the end you're installing that extension and then you'll see that it cannot do this and that you don't like the layout of the um, of the, of the details, for instance, of a catalog or um, some functionality is missing and Content Builder is um, filling exactly this gap. Um, with Content Builder you're able to create um, things like, as I said, things like uh, uh, catalogs, for instance, where you can particularly choose uh, what field uh, has to be displayed uh, displayed on what place in your in your item even it goes even that far that you can tell what user or what user groups are allowed to uh, to update from a, from a from a record and in the end you can even create um, articles native Joomla articles uh, out of your uh, out of your data out of your form records and um, then you can, um, if you if you uh, if you have some knowledge about Joomla, you can use these articles uh, in a block category layout. You can think of, um, for instance, latest profiles. So you're creating a block category layout, and there um, all your records, all the articles out of your records will go into the block category layout, showing the latest records. Um, there are countless of possibilities, um, but to keep it simple, um, we would like to um, to show you a demonstration uh, about the most important features of Content Builder by creating a download website. And um, the the downloads are supposed to be managed by the administrator, and um, the downloads uh, it's themselves will be served in the front end of the page. So what we have here is the data storage screen. Um, here you create new data storages. It's quite straightforward. Um, you create the name of the data storage and then you create some fields like file fields. And then you might want to add a description. And of course you would like to have a title. And by that we have the, the least necessary um, fields that we need to uh, um, to record, record uh, file uploads. And um, if you're checking out the screen, you see there is no type definition. We don't tell here yet um, if the file is, a, is a actually a file upload. Uh, upload. Um, this will be done in a totally different um, screen. Um, but what you can can actually do here is you can tell each field if it's supposed to be a group. A group can be something later on um, in your um, in your custom application. Uh, if it's supposed to be a checkbox group or a radio group or multiple select list. Um, if that is the case you would set it to yes, choose edit and define the structure of your group. So uh, what labels and what values you would like to have. Uh, quite straightforward. But here in this example, we don't have groups. Um, of course, you can ch uh, change the names and titles of each field. And that's it so far. We have the structure of our data. So we can close the screen, publish the data storage, and go to list use. And list use is actually the um, yeah the functional uh, list view is actually a functional representation of the data storage. Um, in the end, it will um, show uh, a, um, a list um, out of the data storage with all the, uh, with all the data in it, or the data you define that should be uh, in that list, and um, offer a details page and an edit page. So let's create a list. You, we call it download as well. And then we choose the type. As you can see here, uh, we have two types, breathing forms and content builder. Um, 
if you are using uh, breathing forms from version 1.7.5, uh, 1 um, you could use uh, breathing forms as data storage. Um, but here we use the content builder. And now we are getting a list uh, for, uh, about all data storages. We just have one, which is downloads. And then you see the, the um, fields um, that have been imported from the data storage. And we would like to have the title and the description in the list. And we also would like to have all of the fields editable means they are editable through, uh, through form. And here you can change the type. We'll keep the title field as type text, adding a validation not empty, and its length 100% according to um, style sheets. Then we'll make the description be of type text area we are using it as HTML editor which is quite uh, okay uh, because um, the, uh, the downloads uh, should be managed in the backend so the administrator is supposed to know what he's doing with HTML and for the file we choose a upload element and tell it to be not empty as well So now, what we have now is um, some further options, but for this example uh, we just need um, to tell where the view should be displayed in. We'll choose both, as we would like to um, administer uh, the downloads in the back end and show the, um, the downloads in the front end. Um, and we also would like to um, include the select uh, column so that we can select uh, items um, in the backend. For instance, if you want to delete them, uh, we want the edit column and the publish column. All the other columns we leave out. And we also would like to be notified if there is a new record. Then and then we are uh, we are supposed to create our content template. And uh, here, when you click this, uh, when you check this checkbox, and actually save, you see that it already creates um, a default template out of the fields um, that you decided to be published here. And um, some other options, for instance, articles. If this checkbox is checked, which it is by default, then it will also create an, um, a corresponding article for each record. Um, tied to that, you can choose a default category. It means if um, somebody is creating a new uh, new record uh, within this view uh, and decides to um, to create articles articles out of it, um, it will put these articles into that chosen default category. Um, for our demonstration here, we don't need all the other um, information. We just um, tell the, uh, the records to be auto-published on creation. And now we're doing almost the same um, by creating an ed editable template, template, which is nothing else than the form. You see it's quite simple. You can, of course, change the HTML of um, that uh, that layout of that form at any time. And since we should be notified about new submissions, um, we also would like to send a notification email to admins. <coughs> We're adding a new subject. The from email and from uh, alternative from emails and alternative from names will leave out. And as recipients, we're choosing some email address. And we also would like to um, attach the file that has been uploaded with this record, so we can, uh, so we don't need to um, check the website to check the file. And then, like for editable and content templates, we tell it to create a sample. <coughs> there you go. And um, 
I have to add, uh, we didn't, um, for, for a good reason, we didn't add uh, tiny MCE here. Um, if you would use tiny MCE, um, uh, it might be that the HTML that tiny MCE or JC or whatever you cre uh, whatever editor you use to create HTML um, could lead to that um, certain email servers uh, would reject your email because there is there are analog tags or something. We leave this to you to make sure that um, all the emails will arrive the uh, recipients. And last but not least, we have the permissions tab. In the permissions tab, we tell for the backend uh, what permissions we want to give. So in our case, we just want the super user to have access to the um, administration panel of the uploads, but then it can do everything. And in the front end, we leave the default settings, which means everybody has access to the list that has been generated and everybody may view the details. <clears throat> so now we save and close everything and publish it. And now you have this option content builder views and here you find all um, backend views which is for now just one downloads. We're entering it and the list is empty yet so we're creating a new item and as item uh, we choose cache control one of our extensions a description and finally the file There you go, and uh, um, the content is uh, generated, but we still have no download. We just see the file name that has been generated. So how are we going to solve this? We want to show uh, a nice download um, possibility. So let's get back to our list view. Into our content template, and now we're using one of the plugins that <clears throat> ship of content builder. Um, it is called CB download. And just by adding this tag where we choose choose the, the field where the um, where the file path information is coming from, it will display a download box right at that uh, spot. Um, the, the permissions for this download are tied to the permissions of the, um, of the view. Um, so um, if you decide um, that the download should only be available for a certain user group, then um, calling the file URL um, would lead to a forbidden page. So don't worry about that. And You see, you have a download in the back end, so this is uh, supposed to be the administration. Now we want to have um, the same uh, view in the front end, so we're creating a menu item. And we're choosing list view from content builder. Selecting the view download. <coughs> Menu items successfully saved. And now we should have um, the option. So um, I think you get the point. Um, it is not just like that you uh, that you that you can that you can create some some uh, um, some la some layouts of it. You can actually create something useful with it. Um, in that case, we have a, a, we just made a, a file download, and um, 
but as you can see this is just a list you also want to have the um, <clears throat> you probably also want to have um, um, the, uh, this news that there is a new download somewhere on your page so you actually can do that um, by using um, native Joomla tools. So if we are going back to our administration panel, <coughs> um, we could choose a new menu item, a create a new menu item. A category block layout. And call it latest columns. Then we're choosing uh, a category where the download uh, is taking, uh, where the um, category block layout is taking uh, the articles from. And then we should. Do, 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 do. No, it's not the metadata option, it's the article option. The latest first. Somewhere to the integration options, no, that options, no, block layout options. Is it? Uh, actually, I just want to tell the category block layout uh, to use the latest options. It's a good question where they put that here. There's a. They changed a lot from uh, since 1.5. Other oh, this category order. Article order most recent first. All right, now we're gonna do a quick check in our view in what category we uh, put it in. On categories, just as we did <coughs> for that uh, menu item. And as you can see, it shows the article that we created uh, with our uh, view and it has the same functionality. So um, if you would add um, more uh, downloads, of course you would see all the downloads on that page and um, you would automatically have a latest downloads uh, um, layout. So if you're cleverly using Content Builder, you are able to create um, not just uh, downloads, of course, you with the um, with the uh, image plugin, you can create image galleries. With the verification plugins and the payment plugins, you can create um, paid uh, content. So, um, if you, I hope, well, I hope you had a a, a little insight into how Content Builder works, and um, maybe you should check out um, all the other trainings videos that are training videos that are coming, or that are already there. And you should have a um, uh, you should have a look at the uh, documentation as well as the, uh, the written documentation. You find it at crosstech.de uh, on the uh, Content Builders download page. And I hope um, you had fun with this little presentation. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time. Bye.